Hi, this is Attila16 and this is a video of War Game Airland Battle. In this case I will present to you a French deck and I will explain to you the rationale around it as well as uh, I'll show it to you in action. So let's start with this. So first thing first, the logistic. I'm using a uh, uh, M201 PC which is a command vehicle which will allow me to capture the zone and I use it um, well I use this one because you have eight of them and it doesn't cost much and it's pretty mobile uh, so I use that then I use the uh, VLRA logistic which I have uh, 22 of which is quite a bit and the reason why I have 22 of is because uh, this is also a, f a national deck uh, for France uh, but also it's prior to 1980 so um, this means that I have more troops for each uh, group of unit that I have so I have 22 logistic and one FOB which we cannot see in there <coughs> then in terms of infantry I have uh, 8 ATGM Milan which are veteran and uh, I use a pirate to carry it. The reason why I use pirate is that uh, this has a 20 millimeter cannon, which is really powerful both against air and land unit. Although nowadays it's a little less powerful than it used to be because uh, it seems that tanks are much harder to destroy with it. Uh, the ATGM Milan F1 is uh, pretty accurate, it's pretty powerful. They have six rounds, so that's very good to hold uh, the towns essentially. And the pirate is also good to suppress whatever comes by. Uh, then I use uh, Rima, uh, which is a unit, uh, regular unit. It costs 15, and they have a short range anti tank. And I use the pirate as well. This is more like my main. Uh, battle line infantry unit in order to secure the center of the map so I use these uh, Rima with uh, ATGM Milan to secure towns um, also since uh, they are static it's mostly a defensive unit the Rima and uh, same thing with the ATGM Milan but uh, if I need reinforcements, I bring in the Legion and I use the VAB because usually when you want to advance against a town, for example, you won't bring your chopper because uh, it's very likely that the enemy has entire around. So I use the VAB Eagle, which is very mobile. It has an auto cannon, which can suppress the enemy. It's not particularly amazing in this case, but uh, it's good enough. It can also fire at chopper, so keeping them away from uh, the action. The Legion are the same thing as the Arima up to a certain point. It's just that they are specialized toward close quarter combat. So they have the CQB and the A52. Uh, so that means that they'll be good on the move and uh, in buildings. So they are also a really effective unit. So these uh, I'll bring them in reinforcements for town or forest. Then I have some uh, chasseurs which uh, are um, uh, a lighter infantry. Uh, it's good for uh, securing area, uh, reinforcing uh, potentially weak place or uh, ambushing the enemy. Uh, it, this is a very lightly armed uh, unit. They don't have particularly. They, they won't win a fight against other infantry. Uh, but uh, since they have uh, six round of uh, close quarter uh, anti tank, uh, that's good enough. Uh, I use them with the AMX uh, 10P, which has an auto cannon, which uh, make it a pretty reliable uh, troop transport as well as a good unit to distract the enemy for a while because they'll uh, engage that instead of uh, more valuable units. Uh, I don't have Milan F2 in this case because uh, it's a deck which is prior to 1980. So, uh, uh, and also uh, since uh, this is a a deck which is prior to 1980 uh, you end up with eight unit instead of six when you give veterancy and um, here uh, I'm giving all my units the maximum amount of veterancy for them to have uh, the most effectiveness 
Okay, then in term of support, I'm bringing the Rollin, and uh, I don't have the Rollin too in this case because this is a deck which is prior to 1980. Uh, but the Rollin one is actually very reliable because it has a 10 uh, missile. Uh, it has a 10 round per minute or a rate of fire of 10 per minute and uh, the fact that it's not radar guided make it uh, very uh, effective at uh, uh, destroying or ambushing the enemy the range is acceptable both against chopper and plane it's mostly good against chopper but even against plane the accuracy make them very deadly and uh, I use them with uh, no experience because this is mostly uh, a unit which uh, you'll use in large number and uh, since uh, the enemy will likely, tar li likely target them you just want to spread them around so I use them individually and I spread them around and they ambush the enemy then I use so, uh, some uh, AMX uh, of uh, F1 and uh, this is uh, a French artillery and uh, it has a good rate of fire 7 around a minute a uh, big caliber, good range, great accuracy. Uh, it's 10 HE power, which makes it uh, ideal to destroy uh, enemy uh, anti air. I have two of them, it's one per uh, unit I put in. And uh, as a result of this, uh, this is uh, mostly a support unit uh, from afar, which I won't rely too much on it. But the thing is that the accuracy and the experience. Uh, of this unit make it uh, very effective so even though you only have two of them it's very likely that that each uh, each corrected shot your fire will be uh, deadly uh, then in term of tank I use the AMX 33 which is a prototype and uh, this is uh, the only tank I'm using for this deck and the reason is mostly that uh, this is uh, a reliable one which can actually end up uh, beating T-72 as well as T-80. Uh, it's able to uh, face those tanks. It doesn't have much armor, but much more than any other version of the AMX. And also it has autocannon, which make it uh, okay against infantry and planes. Uh, so uh, overall, this is uh, a good, a good uh, reliable tank. I gave them a uh, veteran level of experience which make them very effective especially since that tank has an accuracy of 11 which is very high and AP power of 18 and a rate of fire of 10 which make them very deadly uh, this is a very reliable tank I have uh, only 8 of them uh, which make them uh, very valuable uh, and that also means that you need to be careful about how you use them they only have two uh, armor on the top, which is uh, uh, a bit of a shame because uh, that makes them exposed to enemy uh, cluster bomb. So you need to be careful about them. You only use them into the right context. And uh, since I'm not using any other tank uh, for the French, that's my tank force. In terms of recon, I'm using the Alouette 3, uh, which is um, this pretty ugly piece of uh, military hardware and this is uh, a unit which you can call in in large number uh, so six well that's not so large but that's large enough uh, this will allow you to have a visual on the enemy essentially uh, I don't really rely on any other scout unit although the French all uh, they have a couple of interesting fast moving vehicle for recon purpose also some infantry which uh, are acceptable all things considered uh, but in this case uh, I'm mostly relying on uh, the Alouette simply now in terms of vehicle I have some AMX uh, HUT which uh, are purely and simply a TGM uh, unit so they fire a close missile on the enemy it has a rate of fire of 10 which is okay uh, it's an accuracy of 8 and the range is really good because it's 2.6 uh, kilometer also uh, AP power of 22 which nearly mean that it will uh, kill anything that it hit 
I have 11 of them. Actually, I think I will reduce that, that to 6, but I will give them veterancy since this is a missile unit, so I want each and every one of them to hit the target when they fire. Also, since missiles are much more in supplies, uh, you want every uh, single one of them to count. You have 16 of them, which is a lot. So you'll be able to hold the line against uh, large tank formation for a long time. Now, in terms of chopper, I'm not using any chopper because uh, I could use the Gazelle Hut, but uh, I'm uh, not really relying on chopper at all for this uh, French deck. And also, since this is a deck prior to 1980, there's not a large diversity of choice. I will say the best chopper for the French are uh, much more recent in this game, so I don't have access to them. Now the Air Force, as you can see here, I have 24 of them, and that's quite a bit. But the thing is that the French army in this game is uh, really uh, all about air. So it's the French Air Force which is dominating the battlefield. And the reason for this is that uh, you have, uh, first of all, the Mirage, which has uh, eight uh, 400 kilogram uh, bombs. And uh, that's uh, a lot of bombs. And what they do is that the uh, carpet bomb, uh, whatever target you put, this is ideal to destroy a large formation of enemies as well as clearing out towns from enemy infantry. Since this is a deck from, uh, well, prior to 1980, I have four of them. And I use them with, well, I don't have a choice but to use them at this uh, level of experience. So, um, this is a very good plane and since I have eight of them that's quite a bit uh, so you I'm able to do a lot of damage with those then you have the super tendar which has only one missile but what's important about this one is uh, the accuracy of 14 and the AP power of 30 now this thing is uh, probably one of the best uh, plane ever in this game because first of all it has one missile so it fired a missile and then it get out of there as a result of this um, they have a pretty good survivability they are kind of slow but this is a unit that you use as a sniper against heavy units so for example if you have an enemy t80 uh, nearly all t80 will be destroyed and a single hit of that missile that this plane has uh, so that means that uh, what you do is you analyze the battle and you s spot the best enemy unit and you destroy them with this plane as a result of this uh, I think there's only the TADU which uh, you might need to superintend our strike to destroy them but uh, any other tank will likely die in first uh, on the first uh, hit also um, you um, yeah yeah essentially it's all about spotting the enemy vehicle and destroying the valuable ones also against Tungushka which have uh, a disabled radar uh, this is a good unit because uh, as long as you see the target it will destroy it uh, against smaller target might not be a good idea to use that uh, unit but against big target or valuable target this is the ultimate unit then Jaguar A now this is a pretty good anti-radar uh, unit it has two missile which it fires usually uh, both before reaching the point uh, you targeted so as a result of this uh, this is fairly reliable it's pretty fast it goes at a thousand kilometer an hour so it will go in and go out pretty quickly of a situation at the same time uh, they, they used to be better I don't know, I'm not sure what they did to them but they are not as good also the enemy uh, usually now use much more uh, IR uh, anti-air or laser guided anti-air so this is a unit which I only use one group of uh, this is mostly because uh, the radar are not as common as they used to be and the best thing to do is uh, when you call them in call uh, all three of them at once uh, this way this will likely reduce or suppress the enemy anti-air uh, sufficiently then I use some uh, Mirage F1C which is uh, an actually reliable fighter it's not the best fighter out there there's 
different version which are better but this one is good enough it has a um, good range on uh, the anti-air i saw them destroy a couple of enemy uh, fighter uh, including su-27 uh, it's not the best fighter but uh, having six of them make uh, you able to fight uh, back uh, enemy uh, strong air formation essentially so uh, what you do is if there's a long line of enemy fighter coming in or bomber you just send them on the last one and they will just go across the, the enemy formation and likely destroy one or two enemy planes or more depending the amount you send so this is a good plane so this is a pretty small deck but that's because i have so many fighter um or bomber and this is where the french army is strong it's really the air force i think this is very reliable and uh, the other units are essentially they are able to fight for themselves uh, effectively uh, this deck is flexible it can be used in nearly any context and the air force is the strong aspect of it so let's see it in action okay so let's uh, use uh, this french uh, deck i will start in romeo which means that i will go for lima i will deploy my fob over here actually i might actually deploy it there this way it will support my team there at the same time i can bring in my artillery over there if needed or if we get pushed back i guess uh, it will be there to serve uh, my allies at the same time i'm not forced to have an fob it's just that i prefer to have one and share it with the team which is a proper attitude if you ask me so um what i'll do now is i'll deploy my pirates and uh, my atgm units i will deploy them uh, in that down here and here and hopefully i will manage to secure this area that might be uh, difficult but it's worth to try or there might be nothing happening at all which uh, in this case uh, could be kind of boring but uh, I guess uh, since I started here, it's best to go where I'm supposed to because otherwise there might be literally nobody going here, there and that might uh, make a gap in the front which will be very unhealthy for my team. Disconnected. So uh, if we check the rest of the front, our left side seemed kind of weak. And... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll need to go there. I think the left side won't be able to attack. Well, here I'm uh, moving my uh, command vehicle to Lima. Quickly. I think I will have to uh, have a strong defense on that side there because it's clear to me that uh, with those guys here which uh, are moving their command vehicle without uh, holding the zone that, um, that tells you something okay so I'll deploy still like I would but I'll just uh, reinforce my defense on the side there so I'll secure this down and uh, I have a couple of uh, Puma Pirate here. I will send them there. We'll send my ATGM units here. And here. Now as soon as I'll be able to, I'll bring a command vehicle here in order to... Uh, to hold the zone because right now I don't have any command vehicle. And I want to capture Lima first and... Uh, that's the important part. Okay, so I'll land my troops here. Like this. So I have a strong presence in that town here because I believe that this position here will uh, fall. At the same time, there's a couple of uh, MI-24 here which uh, serve to get you down by my pirates. 
at the same time they might be uh, a danger for my uh, command vehicle so that's something I need to be careful about uh, you can see the pirates are effective against uh, those MI-24 there we go at the same time they add a visual on my uh, command vehicle which is something I need to be aware of and take action about it at the same time there seem to be uh, no, okay it was a friendly which uh, decided to uh, remove his uh, command vehicle for a short moment okay now my infantry is all deployed around here I'll actually remove move my ATGM units here. Now what I'll I'll do is uh, I will sneak around and I'll try to perhaps uh, put some pressure on that side there. And the goal of doing that will be uh, to potentially slow down the the enemy push uh, on the left side. At the same time, it will create uh, an annoyance for the enemy. So I'll send my pirate over there. There we go. And here I will make a pirate attack as well. The goal being uh, the destruction of the, the enemy command vehicle. Now at the same time, since uh, I can probably handle this, I will call in my uh, Rima. destroy a command vehicle which I believe is here there we go now there's a buck here I'll try to take care of that now there's a command vehicle here let's destroy it my pirates here are merely a distraction to gain some time with my pirates on this side okay so I destroyed these at the same time, I guess uh, you can call that uh, a reliable uh, recon force. And you can see my pirate uh, shooting down all the enemy transport. Okay, that's good. I have my Rima, which are now available here. I will send them into uh, this location there. Now you have MI-24 which are coming in. So what I'll try to do is I'll deploy my uh, Rima. Or maybe perhaps I'll deploy them there. Now my pirates uh, are uh, killing those MI-24 VP. And the reason is uh, most likely the fact that uh, I'm actually... Uh, outnumbering them because normally uh, MI-24 actually this version of the MI-24 is not that good against air units okay, so let, let's land my infantry in there there we go landing my infantry now I suppose that we can perhaps uh, I'm not sure if we uh, should, but uh, I think I'll take the risk. I will attack with my pirates. I will attack them in the in the back like this, while their troops are largely uh, buzzy in the front. At the same time, I should probably uh, establish some kind of uh, force to intercept the enemy. Well, the enemy has some bucks uh, anti-air. It's dangerous. Let's try to kill it. But uh, yeah, they have too many anti-air, as I expected. Nonetheless, if I kill a bug, that uh, will be a trade. Well, at least now we know that uh, 
the enemy command vehicle is certainly not there it's right here so what I'll do is I'll call in an airstrike on it uh, at the same time I should probably bring in uh, a Jaguar so okay let's call in an airstrike on this with the Mirage it will be uh, a good strike hopefully while here is doing some recon with an SU-25 now th that he did his recon I will uh, simply uh, call in anti-air support okay apparently I killed nothing down there but I lost nothing either so that's uh, an acceptable situation he seemed to be pulling back his troop here, which is a, a surprise to me. Because uh, by doing so, he's actually falling into a trap uh, with my Rima. So, yeah. That was a bad move for him. At the same time, I lost quite a few. Uh, Chopper there. I'm not sure if that was a good trade. Ah, the good news is that he's now even sending a command vehicle. I will call in some more uh, Jaguar. No, he decided to change his, his mind. Which is uh, very good for me. I suppose that what I should do now is sneak in more troop. My Jaguar seem to be killing stuff effectively. That's nice. Now sometimes the Jaguar are pretty good, the other time they are pretty bad. It depends the context, I suppose. Okay, so with my um, Legionnaire, I will try to sneak them around here. Also have some Chasseur here. And there's an MI-24. I guess I will uh, reinforce my anti-air force here. I'll call another uh, Jaguar, which will hopefully uh, kill either a Buck or a Tengushka. Not sure where the enemy command vehicle might be. Which is uh, the only thing I'm a little sad about. I think what I'll do here is uh, I'll actually send a few Chasseur at the bottom of that hill. That will put pressure here, so potentially uh, reduce the pressure on our front. <clears throat> At the same time, it will provide me a tool to potentially scout uh, for enemy presence. that my uh, Jaguar was uh, shut down. I did not really pay attention, so I'm not sure how effective the run was. There's an MI-2 here. I will destroy it. Because this is a recon, and I just want to annoy the enemy. Okay, well, here... The enemy does have a, a few... Um, Units there, okay. Their entire has been shut down. I will send in. I will make a mirage airstrike on these troops and on ZTGM as well. Okay, while here, I guess what I'll do since there's a um, 
an enemy uh, recon over there. I will call in the Mirage uh, F1. Well, my Mirage airstrike are hurting quite a bit. <coughs> That's very nice. Okay, so what I'll do now is uh, I'll send in a Mirage and it will destroy this, this MI2 there, which is a danger to my uh, uh, front or uh, my capacity to maintain the lack of control over Alpha Zone. Oh, they seem to have uh, brought in some uh, MiG-31 which sadly intercepted my uh, Mirage. At the same time, there's a Tungushka over there. Okay, let's uh, let's do some recon with my Chasseur. And it's not necessarily about gaining ground there. It's mostly uh, about uh, just, uh, you know, peaking. We'll bring in a roll in. It might come too late, but uh, it should be fine. As you can see here, my uh, FOBs uh, seem to have served quite well. Okay, so that might be actually the command vehicle. It's just that this is a command vehicle that uh, is an armor. While here he has uh, some uh, SU, what's that, SU-25, <coughs> which are flying above my uh, rolling, so that's good for me. Well, now I do have my uh, Mirage, which are making their way to the enemy command vehicle. There's some, uh, well, MiG-29 uh, actually managed to shoot down uh, my different units. I did manage to kill the enemy um, command vehicle which was there, but sadly that wasn't enough. Okay, I'll do another uh, Mirage strike, but this time I'll target those troops over there, which are in uh, a great concentration. So I'll just uh, fly over my friendly territory here and then I will uh, bombard over there. Well, I have some rolling here. Well, there's still a TADU here. Let's bombard these troops down there. Kill a few, not enough, and the enemy actually did lose uh, control over that uh, area now. Well, it's very nice, they can no longer call in any more reinforcements. Okay, now I need to do another airstrike. Sure, if my VAB are good enough, well, I think they might be. Okay, I think what I'll do is an airstrike on those uh, troops over there. Let's see how well it goes. Okay, that didn't go too well. My legionnaires seem to be uh, still uh, able to uh, defend themselves, which is impressive. Yeah, I think they are a little concerned about uh, Juliet. <coughs> also have my chasseur, which are making their way there. My Roland are also firing on their planes. I'm 
Not sure if it's worth uh, advancing in there. I will move in. I will send a command vehicle here. Yeah, yeah, they they do have a couple of uh, T-72 there, and they have uh, also uh, Tungushka, which is using his main gun, which means that uh, can be uh, defeated by uh, a seed mission. So let's see about that. The thing is, the seed mission doesn't require you to see the target, so it's pretty good. So let's see, that was a total miss. And second missile hit. So now the enemy entire is destroyed. Now the enemies actually did try to take that position there. So I will take some action in order to secure this compound there. Might uh, it might be a, ga a good idea to call in an airstrike on those Spetsnaz over there. Now there's a couple of uh, Motostrelski which are doing stuff to my troops. It seems that uh, I'm actually under attack on this side, which I did not even notice until now. Well, I guess what I'll do here is I will bombard my own position, that should get rid of uh, those Motostrelski. Well, here my Mirage are killing a few Spetsnaz. Keeping them uh, locked in. I'm bombarding my own troop, but uh, at least it will clear the area. So I guess uh, I won't go to the compound over there, and I will actually secure my own territory here. The enemy is also attacking on this side, which means that I could use uh, a few uh, good tank. Okay, well, let's uh, move in here. Well, here I'll reinforce this position here. And what I'll do is I'll wait uh, and call in uh, some uh, AMX-32. Moving my AMX 10P on the territory here. I guess what I'll do here is I'll destroy the MI2, which gives the enemy some visibility, and I I don't want that. At the same time, there's some entire units there, which uh, won't survive long, hopefully. seem to be actually Tungushka. But there's a couple of uh, MiG-31, which are a bit of a, an issue. Also some uh, SU-27. <coughs> That's a dangerous unit against plane. So I guess I will have to restrict myself when it comes to calling in some uh, air unit. Okay, so I'm deploying my troops now. The area seems clear of enemies. Or the enemy uh, did go away from that position. Okay, so now here I should be able to call in uh, my tank. I will deploy my AMX. Uh, 10p in front <coughs> that will allow me to uh, to scout ahead 
And also my Chasseur are a good scout as well. Well, here I will make a small patrol of uh, Jaguar. Which uh, sadly managed to miss the targets. There's just too many of those targets. Well, Central you seem to only have uh, anti air on that side now. Okay, so let's uh, make our way over there. Well, here my AMX-32 will shoot uh, the enemy from afar. My allies seem to be bringing some ATGM units, which should be uh, a good uh, support to my troops. Well, here my AMX-32 uh, should be good enough to destroy those BMPT. Let's destroy them. There we go. My AMX-10P are serving me as recons. So just pull back yeah, on that side, this way I will be able to shoot at those BMP2. Uh, they have uh, quite a few uh, missiles though. Yeah, that's a lot of missiles. So what I'll do is I'll call in an airstrike. So let's destroy this. With an airstrike, yeah, Mirage SF uh, will be good enough for this task. There's a lot of stuff around. You can see uh, the glorious uh, Mirage making its way uh, to the target. And hopefully, that will destroy all of them. No, I think it will miss all of them. Except uh, it did kill something else. Well, as long as my uh, Mirage did not die. Advancing my chasseur now, and it will provide me valuable information about what's going on over there. Okay, let's move my AMX 32 forward to destroy those BMP. Now my AMX seem a little panicked, which is uh, annoying. Does that make them uh, miss their target? Okay, well, cannot do much about this. I'll bring in some Legionnaire, which will uh, clear out uh, those enemies over there. think there's uh, anything else I need to do now. Maybe uh, I'll look for some target opportunity. There's not that many valuable tank out there. <coughs> Let's uh, call in a recon here. Because, uh, okay, there's some uh, AA units. I think I'll call in an anti-radar unit. But actually, there is a MiG-31 patrolling, so I will just pull it back right away. Too many anti-air here. As you can see, uh, oh, my Jaguar barely made it. The, en the enemy just have too many uh, air units. Well, on this side, my uh, logistic is exhausted. Well, sp all spent. 
So I'll pull them back. I won't attack on that side because we're too weak anyway. But I will cross on the other side here with my Chasseur. This will uh, allow me to potentially get eyes on what's going on at Charity while here with my Legionnaire I plan to destroy the enemy Botostrelsky. There seem to be some uh, enemy artillery here. It might, be a, it might be a good target to destroy. So I will do an airstrike on that. Out here my Chasseurs are just going cross. I'm kind of trying to sneak around uh, those uh, enemy tank. Destroy those buck here. But uh, too late. Okay, so I have my Mirage, which is dropping its bomb in a very stylish way. The purpose here is purely to destroy uh, those Nona. But uh, I guess he, if he had not uh, fly on the wrong side, he might have survived. But I guess a Nighthawk strike uh, is good enough. Okay, so my legionnaires are now engaging their, those Motostrelsky and are killing them. There we go. The enemy is bringing reinforcements to attack that position there. Now I need to do some uh, clearing of enemy. So he's attacking me with uh, those. My chasseur are too few to be able to hold it. Now oh, that's expensive unit. I will call in an airstrike on that, on my chasseur location. It's probably uh, some uh, very expensive unit in there. And I think uh, this player is likely neglecting uh, his troops at the moment, which allows me to kill them before they get out. Here's my Mirage. Oh, might be a little too on the side. Yeah. yeah, it was a pretty wasteful uh, Mirage strike. Here I will move my legion. Oh, the enemy seem to be attacking on that side. With a lot of uh, light units. I guess I will just uh, cut his uh, vision by uh, striking this with the super tendar. This also allows me to see that uh, there is a couple of anti-air there. My super tender is actually... Uh, oh, he, he nearly made it. Which would have been uh, quite amazing. I guess I'll just uh, destroy this other recon vehicle. There we go. Now I'm losing my super tender, but the, the game is about to end, so it doesn't really matter. So let's see how well it went. Okay, so I did 3,000 and I lost 2,900. Well, I did 3,800. So uh, I did a little more damage than I, um, what I lost, but uh, that was a pretty good round nonetheless. As you can see, my strategy uh, did lead me to lose a few troops, but uh, what matter is mostly the fact that uh, I did uh, uh, stop the enemy attack on the left side, even though we were not having particularly good situation there. And I think I did use uh, nearly all my units for their different role. And uh, I hope that's that was instructive to you. So, not sure which will be the next uh, deck, but if you have an idea, just tell me.